Welcome to Muncho's Mysteries. Today you join us. We're up in Mugdok Park, up in Mulgai, Mulnagavi, Mulgai, north of Glasgow. Today, like I said, we're in Mugdok Park. I'm stating the obvious. It's a great family day out. You can bring the family up here. You can have a cup of tea, a cup of coffee, or even fizzy pop for the kids. But we are not here to do these kind of things. We are here to deal with matters a lot darker. So come with us. Okay, to be quite honest, this is so weird. It was a beautiful day and the heavens have just opened. There's something quite portentous going on. I feel as if, it's almost as if Dark forces are at play. I don't know what the hell's going on, but I'll level with you. I'm not too comfortable about this. So what I'm going to do meantime is just take a little breather until this storm passes. Stay with us. Well, this is it. This is what we've, this is why I've brought you up here. This is the Gallo Hill drowning pool drowning pool. This is where the, you, you were taken if you were charged as being a witch. And basically what happened was this. You were taken, probably in change or definitely tied up. You were taken to the very end of this pier and you were unceremoniously thrown in. Now what happened was, if you sank, you were innocent, henceforth you weren't a witch, but you were dead, so, but worse than that, if you survived, you were definitely, beyond a shadow of a doubt, charged as a witch. I mean, that was a conclusive proof, and you were taken and burnt at the stake. None of those outcomes are ideal. None of them. And it was always women, because it's just women, of course, that can be witches. Or so they thought. And it was always people, <clears throat> it was the poor, it was the um, proletariat, if you like. They were always the ones that were charged. Never the rich, because they were at home, sitting on their behinds, sitting on comfy chairs and comfy cushions. Casting aspersions left, right and centre. A bit like today. Probably voted Conservative. Anyway, this is it. And I'll tell you what, the water is the darkest, blackest water that I've ever seen. And I've seen many pools. It really is an odd, eerie vibe. And to be honest, I don't really want to spend too long here. So let's just spare a little thought for those charged. Apparently there's still bodies in here. Um, estimates are around 500. <clears throat> Whether you can, anyone watching this can corroborate that, I would love to hear from you. Tell you what I'm going, it's getting a bit too much. All right folks, what I've done, I've actually went to the bother of making a wicker cross as a way of uh, acknowledgement, remembrance or whatever. And I've actually made it to the specifications of wicker crosses that were made back in the day. Have a look. It's made from a specific tree, the round tree. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to gently lay it in the water. And maybe take a little few seconds just to try and put myself back in those days. So come with us and we'll lay this in the water. Okay, I'm going to walk out to the very end of the jetty again, although I don't want to be doing this too much because it is quite scary. I'm not going to like ham it up and be all solemn because it's ostensibly quite a, a hopeful thing to do. So 
here goes, going to pop it in the water. The wicker cross. Ah, look at this. An elf, a little elf. Now, I'm not saying that there is elves here, but I would imagine that this is, it's more than a um, coincidence. There could well be elves in this forest doing elf things, whatever elves do. I think it's an elf, but it could be a, a goblin. You're never really sure what the difference between an elf and a goblin is. So. If anybody happens to know what an elf and what a goblin is, please answer down below. Keep your eyes peeled because you may see one of them. Action. Rain's never going to go off, it appears. It's absolutely miserable and it's summertime. Come on, Scotland. Come on, you Scotch weather. Shine. Look at this. It's... It's not a frog, it can't be a frog, because it's by the um, witch's pond, it must be a toad. Because let's not forget witches, we're always prattling about with toads. Okay. okay, what have we here? What have we here? Well, this looks like it could have been made by the witch's hand. In fact, to be honest, it looks like a witch's hand, all gnarled and bent and horrific. This is probably where the witches tended to the herbal medicines that they grew, maybe foxglove or such like, making up the potions, lotions, whatever, whatever it is that, that witches do. I know that they're always up to something. Maybe they had their cauldron here, who knows? Perhaps. But they certainly were up to not necessarily bad things. Maybe it was like, maybe they, they were white witches doing good things for the um, community, making exilers. What's that? Exilers of life? That potions that give people superhuman strength. The type of thing that witches perhaps did. Well, look at this. You join me outside. A zoo! This used to be a zoo. Back in the 40s there was a rich, a sort of big um, a philanthropist type dude. He decided to buy this building and take it from me. It was a majestic building. I've seen pictures. Um, and he turned it into a zoo of all things. And the zoo had lions, I don't think it did tigers, leopards, a chimpanzee, and the biggest attraction, literally and metaphorically, was Charlie the Elephant. But due to the inclement, dreadful Scottish weather, it got no visitors. And in the 60s, they closed it down. And this place was left to fall and to disappear. And it's got a fence stopping people going in, and quite rightly so. Because if you're going to film here, you need to get clearance. And I'm going to see if I can take a drone and fly overhead and show you. We've got, <laughs> we've got clearance. <laughs> we can do it. We can take the drone and show you what's beyond beyond the facade beyond the facade that's a good name for a, a book a novel beyond the facade so let's insert that footage right now well it appears that fate or indeed the weather has conspired against me and um, i'm going to pretty much abort this whole thing which is a real pity because I was really enjoying, really enjoying learning about all the, the witches and so on and so forth. So, that 
that's it. I'm basically going to have to call it a day. Okay, folks, so that's people. Until next time, catch us later.